Hello YouTube, right now we are tossing the NASCAR drift car on the dyno. Uh, it's running, we did a burnout, that's in yesterday's video. Or whenever I post this thing. And we are gonna see how much power it makes. Now, first of all, these things are supposed to make, I think like 840 horsepower. Um, that's at the crank and maybe five something at the crank for torque. It is at 8,800 RPM, and then and so that's in race trim, and then when they sold these motors to civilian type people, that was at 9,300 RPM, um, like when they sold these motors in some like closeout sale. Oh, look, we have RPF1s in the back, which is funny. That's at best case scenario, and like being maintained by NASCAR mechanics and not like bought out of a tiny home thing like we did randomly off Facebook Marketplace. So right now, our limiting factor is we probably don't have the correct fuel in the thing. We also have a 750 CFM weirdo carb on it, which we don't know how good the tune is. We haven't really checked off timing or done anything else. We're just, it was running pretty well. So we're just gonna run on the dyno, see what the power is. I think we are going to make 560 wheel. What do you think, True? That's horsepower. Uh, and I think we're gonna make 400 crank, or sorry, wheel torque. I'm gonna guess 480 today. 480 crank, or sorry, wheel horsepower? 480 wheel. Oof, We're you're stopping probably at 8, right. Yeah. We're stopping at 8,000 right now. Mark. It makes peak power. We don't even know what this motor it's is. It's gotta be 420. Okay, 420. Now, I, I hope that it makes five. If it doesn't you make over five, five. If it get rid of it. Five, then I think we need I'm hoping to get rid for of like it. seven, but I think it's gonna make like four. I'm hoping, it's not gonna make seven. I mean, not on that carb, it can't. Is it supposed to? It's not on that carb. Yeah, I can't. It would need like an 850 CFM carb. Okay, so look, look at me talk like I know so what carbs really are and carb sizes and CFMs. What? Are we shooting for 600 then? Uh, I'm shooting, I would be super excited if we made 550. I think 550 all in right now would be like as much as we could humanly hope for. And then after we do a bunch of stuff to it, if we hit 600 to 650 wheel, that would be insane. I think- You've got enough fan for at least 150 wheel. Yes. That's the fan, guys. One little fan. That's <laughs> the whole cooling system. Look at its wiring. Oh, look at man. This. this carb is not a serious NASCAR carb, so, but it's on the car and the car is running well. So we figured we should just run it like that. When we got the car, it had two dead uh, MSD boxes and they also had 5,000 RPM pills in it, I think. Uh, we don't know why that was. Uh, so, anyways, that's what we're dealing with. And this is what the car looks like from the side. And this is what it looks like with RPF1 on it. And this is actually... All the way up to go on the dyno and the boom tubes still almost hit things. Oof. Boomy tubes. They are very, very low. You think these little guys are going to hold it? Yeah, it's not going to make any They're the Ds. It won't make any torque. Oh, if you guys haven't seen yet, we have Lone Star Drift tires. I do not sell these things. Uh, Valino sells them, but that's really cool that we have those. And this car is so long. Okay. Uh, God, I hope this thing actually works. I forgot to give you specs too. It's a R or RY452 motor, we believe, which is a Roush Yates 358 cubic inch engine, which is like above 14 to one compression ratio. I don't know if it's 14 to one or like 14.6 to one. It revs to either 8,800 or 9,300, depending on how you have these things set up. Right now we have it rev revving to 8,000 off the MSD box. So that's gonna be one of our limiting factors and also the carb, which is a 750. It should be an 830 for NASCAR, but because of the way the aftermarket companies sell them, we'll just be putting an 850 on it. Um, we're running right now leaded like 102 with octane booster in it. We're gonna check the plugs to see if there's detonation. We plan to at later dates run like it on 110 or maybe 112 or 114, but we have this around because of the circle track car and the, the blue one. So I'm kind of curious how that's gonna work out. And now Mark, try and start this thing. We, we broke some teeth off the, off the flywheel. Oh God, off the flywheel. Off the flywheel. That's what we heard yesterday when we were starting it. Remember that? So the thing was like that. So now he's <sighs> manually getting it back onto the teeth that are there apparently. Yeah. And so this has a little tiny five and a half inch clutch setup. That's why it revs so insanely fast. Ah. Actually, seven 
incredibly consistent. So our sink is off by about 400 RPM, but so what? That's close enough. Okay. But yeah, that's what it does whenever I don't hit the limit. So we're actually, our sink is off. We're hitting about 7,700 and I had it stopping at 78. Um, so it re, it like fills in all this, it backfills all this data. Cool. But yeah, that's, uh, that's real shit. All right. Beautiful Are you happy, water. Mark? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. I don't, what do the uh, temps look for stuff? They're high. They're really high. I don't know what's normal. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be really high, right? Yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, but like, I don't know about that guy. That's a water pressure gauge. There's a water pressure gauge? Yeah, to let you know so when you look ahead. What's the oil temp at? Uh, 260. Woo, what's the water temp at? 250, 255. Yeah, we're not used to these really, really high temps. But the reason being is, let me show you. Shut this little guy down because he's so loud. These engines have huge cooling capacity, but they have one teeny tiny fan. That's the only fan. There's a lot of water. Yeah, I am. Yeah, Just saying. Uh, How does so, it seem outside? So these cars are this meant to have a lot car. of like, um, we take this off. These cars are meant to have a lot of airflow over them because they're going incredibly fast. Whereas with drifting, we don't do that. So, oh, cool. There's lightning in the background, if you can see that. Um, anyways, so we're going to have to deal with cooling capacity as well. Anyways, kind of interesting, kind of different. Uh, we still have to get our wheels up front. Um, do you guys like the Japanese wheels on the back? RPF ones? Very different. Anyways. So we have to make decisions if we're gonna keep the body on or if we're gonna keep the body off. I wanna keep the body off because it's gonna make the thing a whole lot lighter because it's steel, but you lose the fact that it looks like a NASCAR. We still have to make new control arms because you can see that crazy alignment to go around a circle track. That's a ton of positive uh, camber. And then I think that that carb is limiting us pretty badly. Um, so we probably need to change that carb out and change some cooling stuff and it gets so hot inside this car yes mm. and the other blue nascar thingy the great value nascar we have it cools so crazy it has a little mechanical fan it absolutely doesn't even feel like it gets over 180 ever it's actually hard to get up to temperature it's the exact opposite of this motor um, but these things are meant to run super hot but we don't want to run it that hot i would i'd feel more comfortable with like Put a 220 or something. Well, mechanical fan is an option. It's the option. You should probably. God, this is so much heat run. coming at. So if we there moved you. it up to, if we continued up here and that's the same trajectory, we'd be at about 550. No, about 570 probably in another 1200 RPM. Uh, it, yeah, it's all right. So it's going to go from 70s, 74 up to 84. So be about right here. 88. Right, but I'm saying no, know, on the scaling. Uh, so yeah, so, it'll be yeah. around 560. Okay, that's kind of right where I was thinking. That's actually not bad. And I think just like the other car, we probably have, I don't think we're going to have 100 horsepower hiding in that car, but we could. Um, I think it's pretty successful. So next time we dyno this thing, it will be with a different carb, and it will be with a different pill in the MSD box for like 9,000 RPM. And I think we will hit probably right at 600 at that point, I'm guessing. Because Mark is over there just staring at me. No, bigger carb and then also yeah, another 1,200 RPM or 1,000 RPM, 800 how this, RPM. how this will do on like E85. We're not putting 85 on it. It's already got to do a carb. Might as well just put like a 1250 no, on there. No, because we're going to have to like store it with the 85 and it's going to be a mess. I don't think it's going to be any worse than this fuel. Yeah, because that fuel is stable and it can stay in there. Uh, anyways, thank you very much, much for watching this silly project. We keep nibbling on it. The blue one, by the way, I'll show you that real quickly if you're not familiar with it. I really, really enjoyed that build series. It was really fun. It was really simple too. Um, this is kind of the naked look of them. It is so much fun to drive these cars with no body on them, but again, uh, I'm asking you guys, should we cut the body off that thing or should we leave it? Kind of give me the thought process, but like this is such a raw and naked experience. Um, I would really enjoy that. And 
with 600 pounds or something off the car. The tire wear is gonna be a better. It's gonna look worse. It's not gonna look like an ass car. Uh, it'll be faster. Um, probably use less consumables, which is important to this thing. But I don't even know if anybody likes NASCARs. I need to get headlight stickers and stuff that make it look like an S15. That would be hilarious. 240SX pop-up headlights. It doesn't look anything like a 240SX though. Okay, we're done. Thanks guys, bye. And come hang out with Lone Star Drift at round four at MSR Houston, August 20th and 21st, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. We have lots of stuff going on. But also thank you to BC Racing Custom Coilovers, WhatMonstersDo.com, NK Wheels, Valino Tires, ECU Master USA, and KBD Body Kits. We can't do these videos without you guys, so thank you so much for supporting everything Lone Star Drift does, and bye.